What is up my original bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. Again, this is not my gameplay, so if I do get a copyright strike, well just eat a dick because it's not really mine and I say that it's not mine, so I do not own this gameplay. It is not my copyright or anything like that, and if you copyright me, go suck a dick. But, as you can see from the title of this video guys, it is... All of the confirmed secondary weapons so far. Now, as of today, choose it. These are the ones that I am certain and that I know have been confirmed so far in the Modern Warfare game. So, I decided to leave shotguns out of the secondary for now at least because I'm not fully sure if they're in the secondary or primary because... They were in the primary section and they were in the secondary section so I'm not fully sure how that works. Maybe there's overkill or something like that, not fully sure. So when I know more on Thursday, of course I'll pump out videos then near enough every day maybe or every two days or depending on how long content wise I have or how much content I have. I will also be streaming the multiplayer reveal on my Twitch channel. Link down in the description below if you want to go see it. If you do, keep up to date with me. I'll post on YouTube and on Twitter that I will be going live playing it. And I'll have my reaction to it up on YouTube then maybe the next day after that once I cut bits of it in But I know I rambled on for a long time, but let's just get into it now So the first weapon that I want to talk about is the RPG 7 Now this has been confirmed and as you can see from the gameplay we have seen we actually have seen him in use and we've seen the streamers and former cod pro tp all play it so we've seen curtis jd use it tp pro syndicate and legion all use it in either one or two rounds where they just do rocket launchers only which was kind of funny but it also it also showed off the weapon how powerful it was and how fast it was to shoot now reload kind of slow but you can understand why because it's a rocket launcher like you're not just going to be able to just throw it up and just bang there it is there it is again boom you can just stay firing like that but no it is an rpg7 and we first saw this actually in modern warfare now i have seen other places that it was in other games but i i don't know i i saw it first for me personally and whenever i looked it up that it was in call of duty for modern warfare and of course it was in modern warfare remastered and in the multiplayer when you could use it in modern warfare you also had the ability to ha have a perk one tier perk which gave you double rpgs now it was called i don't know what it was called but it was like rpg times two or something like that which actually allowed the player to spawn in with an rpg and a spare rocket now the rpg cannot be a hip fire weapon as attempting to do so will result in the sights being automatically brought down and the rockets are extremely inaccurate outside of the medium range as the rockets fly pad tends to go beyond the marker so you could aim straight at it from a distance and it might veer off to maybe the left or the right or it might just dip down under and hit early before it actually hits its target kind of off b but very very powerful up close now very very when i mean that it did like a thousand damage to a player and it did thousand damage to helicopters that had what i think it was 1100 damage i know the explosion for damage was between 400 to 450 direct impact was about a thousand however i think it's the single player it's 400 
for the explosion and on multiplayer I think it's 160 to 30 on the multiplayer that's how much damage it does so it'll be it'll be interesting to see how it, it works and it looks very nice anyway the way it's been fired and reloaded and everything like that it looks like the old school way in modern warfare call of duty 4 modern warfare modern warfare 2 and wasn't in modern warfare 3 i don't think it was full short it wasn't actually but you know it actually was when i think about it, it actually was when i think about it. i think it was unlocked around level 70 or 80 can't fully remember but very good gun and the damage of course changed throughout the years and it is now back in this game so here's the picture of it and of course i just played gameplay why i was just talking about kind of had it on a loop but yeah that is the rpg and let's move on to the next one so the next weapon i want to talk about is the m19 now this was also featured as a primary weapon and a secondary weapon so that kind of confirms more that there's going to be a overkill or kind of like a one man army where you can have your primary weapon as your secondary I think personally and the M19 is a pistol now we didn't really see a lot of gameplay I would have liked to seen more gameplay but what I can see from it it is a decent weapon and it looks to be between a three to five shot kill to the body maybe four to the chest and head not fully sure don't quote me on that but the gun seems very good it doesn't have that much of a high recoil medium range now when i mean medium i don't mean like really kind of medium far medium close to you and close range it'll be a very good weapon from far away of course it's a pistol it'll be terrible but it seems like it's a very reliable gun in close quarter combat especially on 2v2 where you see courage jd pro syndicate legion and tp all play that gun will be brilliant on that map and of course there's other maps other multiplayer maps that we have not seen yet that it could be very good on and of course i will have gameplay of all of these weapons being used as well of course it might be shit gameplay but you know gameplay is gameplay at the end of the day i'm just kind of trying to show off the weapon or else i'll just have all of the primary weapons shown off in in private match and show you how to shoot and everything like that so m19 very reliable gun will probably be the one of the first ones that you unlock at the start of the game it might be in one of the default classes and then it'll carry over when you get to level 5 and you can create your class the next weapon is the 357 magnum now it is also known as the sw357 within some of the game files and it was available in the world at war gameplay and it was unlocked between level 48 and 50 i think it was it was probably one of the most powerful sidearms at the time and it could take down an enemy at in the least amount of shots like most revolvers in the series it only holds six rounds and it is capable of a high rate of fire now it does have quite a lot of recoil but it is very accurate at the same time however the recoil from each round of this weapon actually pushes the gun up quite a bit before it putting it back into position back into the shooting position and of course when firing the rounds as rapidly as possible each shot is pushed up into a dis distinctive straight vertical line which is okay but it is possible that five of your shots would completely miss you might hit the first one because you're just going to be normal but then it'll just kick up and of course with stopping power in modern warfare or it world at war sorry it was a very very good weapon and of course it was used in the nazi zombies as well but 
we didn't see much of it. Of course, it was in the, I think it was Nintendo DS, and it was as a Python in the Declassified. I'm not sure what it really was, but it was similar to Black Ops, but it wasn't Black Ops, if that makes any sense at all. I also saw the Python, not really the same weapon. Whenever I looked it up, it wasn't, but gonna deal quite some damage I can say in this game and it may be one of the second uh, pistols that you could unlock or it could be the second last pistol that you unlock and I'm saving the best to last ladies and gentlemen last but not least is the desert eagle now this first appeared in the modern warfare franchise and Somebody recently said about that it is very very high powered and especially up close range it is beautiful up close range sounds and feels like a badass gun and they also said that it was a semi-automatic of course it would be because we've seen it in Modern Warfare 2 where you could just pop off shots like it was the 4th of July and the gun was absolutely terrific to use and you just felt like an absolute boss in modern warfare and modern warfare remastered it was unlocked at around level 40 to 45 between those not fully i can't fully remember and it is one of the most powerful pistols in terms of shot per damage and it could kill between two to four shots depending on the range that you were shooting your enemy at and of course in modern warfare it depended on if you had juggernaut or stopping power or last stand everything like that very very good gun and you can put a kind of like an ACOG or sniper scope on it in the new modern warfare game which you know kind of looks really weird but the reloading in it looks unbelievable and of course I'm showing you some clip here now as well and I shall show you a picture of the gun as well that I found on the internet so I hope you like that like I said there wasn't too many secondary weapons as you could see from this video I know I kind of stretch it out along and I'm sorry for that but I just had to talk well I didn't really have to talk but I just said what I felt and everything like that and I hope to have more weapons coming in the next few days on what is confirmed. Because there is a lot of rumors out there with weapons that we have seen from the Modern Warfare series. All the way from Modern Warfare 1, COD 4, sorry, COD 4, Modern Warfare, all the way up to Modern Warfare 3. And we could easily see... The majority of them recycled back into the modern warfare because to be honest it's a smart idea but it's kind of lazy at the same time but we could see that and of course once august 1st comes i hope to have more gameplay of it of modern warfare i hope to have more weapons that have been used and more weapons have been confirmed more lethals more assault rifles, more submachine guns, rocket launchers, pistols, uh, shotguns, light machine guns, marksman rifles, sniper rifles, uh, if there's melee weapons, equipment, and non-lethal non and lethal equipment. But yeah, that is it guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please hit the like button and go follow my twitter link in the description below go follow my twitch link in the description below but yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace